Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. iPad Touch 31. Today we're going to be doing a review of an iPad 2 case that was sent out to me free for review by Case Crown. Let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, this was sent out to me free for review by Case Crown. Now this is a very interesting case that features a little bit different design than other cases. This is actually a vertical case for your iPad 2. This is the second generation iPad, not the first generation iPad, the new one that just came out. So here it is. It's a vertical iPad 2 case from CaseCrown.com. It has a, some, some features in it, not uh, too many features, but again, it's vertical, so it's a little bit different style case than your normal case. And if you're already thinking that you don't want a vertical case, you think this looks dumb, you just think it's going to be stupid, there's no worries. They also have a horizontal case that you can buy for your iPad 2. And it's very nice that they offer more than one des design that you can choose from. But here's a few features about this case. First feature is that you can simply just put it under there, and you can put it like this. And it's a little bit different, and then it's a little bit different type of case, so it's going to have a little bit different angles. Uh, this angle would look something like this on a horizontal style case. Because this is a vertical case, it is going to be up like this. Again, you can still type notes just like this. You're just going to have little peckered chicken fingers, whatever you want to call it. My like fourth grade teacher said that we were chickens when we typed like this. Anyways, I'm getting back to the case here. But there's a few flaws about this case. Let me just go over all the features first. You also have this strap right here, and this strap is very nice. All you got to do is just put it around here. If you put it around there, you can tell right away that your front cover will not be off of your iPad 2. So if you're going somewhere and you just don't want that cover to fall off, you don't want to worry about your screen getting scratched or anything because they have that little uh, strap right here that simply goes over the top or over the bottom of it onto the back, and then your front cover will not open up. On the bottom down here, we've got Case Crown. I was zooming in on that a little bit earlier. On the back here, we've got the little flap and then a Case Crown logo. On the bottom here, we have got a... We just try to focus in a little bit on that. We've got a speaker grill, and then we also got your 30-pin um, dock, dock connector. On the side here, we've got your volume switch, your mute or rotation lock. You've also got a cutout for your camera hole. Now that we ran over all the features, I'm going to tell you a few positives about this case. The first positive is that it's one of the only vertical style cases I've seen. Again, keep in mind during this whole review, if you don't like a vertical case, they also have a landscape or a horizontal case you can buy. That looks just like this, it's just horizontal. But this one is a vertical case, and I've said that a few times now, so I'm going to stop saying that. Another nice feature is that it has an awesome, I don't know what this is, it has an awesome material and it feels great. I've never felt this on a case before. It's definitely a different style material and it feels great. It looks pretty cool in person. And also has black stitching so that you can't really tell that it's stitched that much because it's black on here and it's black on the stitching. So it's really hard to tell that it, well it's not really hard to tell that it's stitched, but it's not as noticeable that it's stitched. On the inside here, I believe we've got some microfiber. This will not, it won't clean your screen because it doesn't touch your screen. But it is nice and soft just so that your screen will not get scratched or anything. It will collect dust though and hair fairly easily, so you're going to want to watch out for that. We've also got a nice cutout for the FaceTime camera right there. And we've also got a cutout for your home button down there. Now if we went over all the features and a few positives about this case, I'm going to tell you a few negatives about this case. Now unfortunately this case has a lot more negatives than positives in my opinion. And I'll tell you why right away. Really the main reason is just because it is a vertical case. The first reason being you cannot take a picture with this camera without looking like an idiot or with this case on. Um, because first off, the camera will move all the time because this case doesn't fit it perfectly. You can see it's moving there and I'm just barely even applying it and that will just move around no matter what you're doing you know, through, throughout your day that's just going to move back and forth. Just like that you can tell that there is a whole bunch of leeway. You can tell that there's a whole bunch of room in this case for it to move around which is never, never a good thing for a case company. You do not want it to be moving around like that. Bad things can happen. But back to taking the picture. Um, first off, how are you going to take a picture with this case because if you fold this back it's going to cover up the hole. So you're either going to have to hold it like this or hold it like this and put like a little, you guys can kind of see the reflection there. You need to put this like, you know, like over your head or something. And that's how you take a picture is, you know, looking like this. Yeah, I'll kind of try to show you guys. So I'd put this, pretend the camera's my head. I'd put the thing on there and then I'd take the picture. It's just a very awkward way to take a picture. And it's, it's just definitely not, if you're looking at taking a lot of pictures with your iPad, this will not be a case for you. But again, please keep in mind that they don't just have vertical cases on their thing. They also have landscape cases and these are very nice 
cases. This one just doesn't happen to work for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Another bad thing about this case though is that it does not lie flat. You can kind of see up here, it is not lying flat at all. And that can um, get dust inside there. Dust will get inside there and could possibly ruin your iPad. And it's not just on that side. You can see right here, it doesn't lay flat. Right there is a huge bump right over here. Right here it lays pretty flat on this side down here but um, definitely on all the other sides not not very good also because this case moves around a lot the home button will, off, will often get hard to press and even when it's lined up perfectly it's still kind of hard to press because this thing is like in the way here I'll go ahead and focus in you this thing right here when I go to press it I always kind of hit that I mean I can always press it but it's just it's just kind of gets annoying sometimes another bad thing about this case is that it does have this strap right here so to put your iPad in you just simply slide it in there just like that and put this underneath it and that is supposed to prevent the iPad 2 from falling out this does not work so well and I'll show you guys an example right now it might not work now just because I'm filming but hopefully it does you can simply just push it out good thing it's working you can simply just push it out by just going like that so if you're accidentally you know playing with your iPad and you accidentally just tip it over it can easily just come out just like that and that's definitely not a good thing but all in all, this case could be a perfect case for you if you're just looking at just a nice vertical case. This could be the case for you. If you're not liking this case, be sure to check out their website and look for their landscape or horizontal case. They have tons of cases on their website. Just because you don't like this case doesn't mean you have to not buy a case from the company. Go check out their other cases. Go search up a few other reviews of the case you're looking at. And maybe you can find a nice case from Case Crown. That's all I'm going to say about this case though, is the iPad 2 vertical style case from Case Crown. I'll have their link in the description below. This was sent out to me free for review. I want to thank them for that. But that's all I'm going to say in this video. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Be sure to leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this case. Is it an interesting idea? Are you going to get it? Are you going to get a different case on their website? Leave a comment below letting me know if this video really helped you out in deciding if you want to get this case or not. Be sure to favorite this video. It helps me out more than you think. And lastly, but definitely not least, please subscribe to my channel for more content and more videos about the iPad 2 and everything else that has to do with tech pretty much. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.